striking message. The whole world is watching. The course of human history has changed today. The ship appears to be stopping over Johannesburg City. They're spending so much money to keep them here when they could be spending it on other things. At least they're keeping them separate from us. How do your weapons work? <laughs> Hey guys, what is up? Niat here with Film Comics Explained, and today we'll be taking a look at the prawns, which were featured in the incredible 2009 sci-fi flick, District 9, which was directed by Neil Blomkamp. The prawns were essentially an extraterrestrial, space-faring race of insectoid sentient beings that featured comparatively advanced technologies and engineering capabilities. The species had essentially become stranded on Earth while in transit from their homeworld, Planet 9, which is believed to have very similar conditions to Earth. Planet 9 is also mentioned as having seven moons and is explained as being many times larger than Earth. The prawn species were bipedal and were noticeably a few feet taller than humans. Their bodies were covered in a tough exoskeleton and the prawns were notable for their three-fingered hands, large humanoid eyes and antennas that sprouted from their heads. Their skin was dark and shell-like. They also displayed a massive tendrils on their faces, which assisted in the process of mastication as they were toothless. Opportunistic carnivores, they will eat just about any meat they find, though they fancied cat food the most as it affected them in the same manner as catnip affected cats. Unfortunately for the prawns, the introduction of cat food caused many of them to develop an addiction, which is exploited by humans who traded it with them for more valuable alien technologies. The prawns were also many times stronger than humans, seen possessing the strength to rip people's limbs off with enough pressure. The technology of the aliens was seen to be biomechanical and would only function with their DNA, although this was circumnavigated by using Vickers who had been infected with a fluid possessing their DNA, which transformed him into a prawn over time. Their weapons were mostly energy based, though since their arrival on Earth, hybrid rifles resembling human guns were seen being used by the prawns. They also featured a gun that could produce powerful shockwaves, as well as a large, impressive alien biosuit which featured some astonishing abilities. In the film, it's explained that a large alien spacecraft had arrived on Earth in the 80s, which had been hovering above Johannesburg for a few months, before humans decided to cut into the ship. Once they had entered, they discovered thousands of aliens that were both sick and in a serious state of malnourishment. It was soon discovered that the vast majority of the prawns were worker units with no apparent higher leadership on board the spacecraft. The visitors were welcomed into temporary government camps, but through overcrowding and neglect, these camps eventually turned into the slum known as District 9. This film was an obvious political allegory to South Africa during the awful apartheid era, and the film's title, District 9, is a reference to District 6, which was a real-life inner-city residential area in Cape Town, which had been declared a whites-only area by the government in 1966. Over 60,000 people were forcibly removed from their homes and relocated to Cape Flats, which turned into a slum, similar to the event seen in the film. What was shocking to see from the start was the disgusting treatment of the prawns, which were intelligent creatures by otherwise good people. The film makes a clear statement about how inhumane we can be towards other humans, and also takes an ironic approach, with Vickers becoming more humane as he became less human. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks to you guys who suggested we take a look at the prawns from District 9. If there's any other content you would like me to check out, please do not hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. Sir, please, sir, you have to help me. I'm losing blood. They're trying to kill me. Please. Come here. Come here. Come here.